Segment number two, Teddy, one of our favorite things to do here at SportsbookReview.com is review line movements and what's going on in games, weather conditions changing all the time. We don't have the advantage to look at any weather changes being down at the Dome, but Kansas City seems to be the focal point here. But let's first take a look here, Teddy. The Rams and Saints total shifting a little bit on us, you know, opening up around that 56, 56 and a half range. I saw a peak at 57 yesterday, now pulling back to 56 and a half. I do see the numbers out there. Look, games in the Dome, I think they said, what, last five games that were played in a Dome in the NFC Championship game have gone over the total. But we're seeing historic numbers here in conference games, 57, 57 and a half, as opposed to, like, your mid-40s. Are we looking too much into this, Ted, or is this just the numbers bouncing around at this point for no good reason other than money coming in on each side here? Well, that's why numbers bounce around. (laughs) They bounce around because money comes in uh, on one side or the other. Sometimes you see... Uh, when there's a major move, you'll see some books, they call them moving on steam or moving on air, where they see the market moving, even though they haven't been hit, they're going to move their number because they see the screen. They call it the screen going black uh, when there's a wise guy move, uh, which as I'm looking, (laughs) there's a bunch of money coming in on the the other game. Uh, We'll talk about in just a minute. The screen literally just went black uh, as we were talking. (laughs) Uh, For Rams and Saints, we've seen a little bit of under money, not a lot. And I think it has everything to do with you know, we're not used to seeing totals of 57 <laughs> in uh, NFL championship games. Yeah, yeah, sure. We've seen that in the regular season now. We've uh, gone over many of these barriers even in the postseason. But, you know, I believe this is the highest total in NFL championship game history. And the markets are saying, yeah, they scored 80 points in the first meeting. That was then. This is now. The pressure is tougher. The red zone defenses are better. Because anytime you're talking about totals 56 and a half, 57, whatever it is, You need touchdowns, not field goals. Red zone execution, enormous in these type of ballgames when it comes to betting on the totals. Yeah, it looks like Rams and New Orleans, Teddy, right now, just taking a quick look. You know, we had the three and a halves popping up yesterday. It looks like, I don't want to say they're disappearing, but the juice is lightning on there. You know, some offshore books showing minus three, minus 120. So we do have a little bit of movement there. Second one, Teddy, Kansas City. You know, we've seen, ooh, what is that temperature going to be? I saw a high of five degrees, a high of three degrees, zero degrees. Now we're showing some 15s and 17s. Point is, it's still going to be cold. Will it be historically cold in this ballgame? We'll see. But you are starting to see a little bit of an impact, Teddy. If we saw last week, in the New England game early in the week. Maybe possible chance of snow up in Foxborough. That dissipated, and the under, excuse me, the over returned from about a 44 and a half to 45, back up to 47 to 47 and a half. Same thing in this game, opened at an extremely high number. We even saw it get as low as 44, but now seeing 55s come back. Is this just a direct mark movement here? Because what I'm looking at is saying, well, maybe it's not going to be so cold that they can't move the football. That's still a high number in a championship game, especially when you do have some weather involvement. But weather doesn't look as bad yesterday if you figure 5 to 15 degrees isn't bad. still cold to me, Teddy. And this is why the SBR odds product is such a great product and why you should be using it on a daily basis. You can see the lines move. (laughs) You know, that matter. Hey, do I get my bet down now? Do I wait? And right now, as we speak... We've just seen a significant, I'm not going to, not, not crazy, but uh, <laughs> the screen went black and there was a bunch of money on the over in this ball game. The 54 and a half wiped out. 55s, there's still 55s out there, but uh, I'm seeing books moving to 56 as we speak. There's, a, there's still a 54 and a half with over minus 125 uh, out there. The money's coming on the over right now with the weather forecast and of course, Let's not forget where the public's going to be on in this game. They saw Brady light everyone up last week. Uh, They saw Mahomes light everyone up all year. You can count on public money coming the over here. The market's getting in front of that a little bit with the over money coming in today on Wednesday. And we talk about correlated parlays, Teddy. No surprise here. Ticket price is 28% higher for the Dome in New Orleans, and rightfully so. You get to sit in a nice, you know, 70-degree temperature in New Orleans to party, or would you like to spend your money and go out and sit in 5-degree weather in Kansas City? No surprise with that one, but always information that we do think is interesting. 